Hello, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. And today I wanted to show you a project that I'm working on. I previously showed the Erin Condren A5 Ring Agenda that I, I got. It's, when you get it from Erin Condren, it comes in this big fold-out uh, cover that they call an agenda. Now for me, this is just, it's just too much bulk. So what I did first, and it's hard to shut. <laughs> What I did first was I took this leather um, A5 planner cover that I had. I had been using it for a disc bound planner where I just put it in the back of here in the pocket. And I got myself um, some rings off Etsy and then I punched it and put them through here. Well, these rings are too small. When I bought them, I was just looking for three and three, six rings and it said A5 and I didn't even think about the measurement and this is way too small and I had to cut these extra tabs in here for this to work plus extra holes so it kind of just a mess so it it bothered me of some sorts and um, I like to sew I've sewed I've had Etsy stores in the past where I sewed different things and sold them so I thought well make your own planner cover so I went on Amazon and I bought uh, it came a set of these for about nine dollars and then I went on Etsy and I bought some white leather. This is just one of the pieces I have because I have the one next to me that where I cut up. And it's really beautiful. And you could, um, for one pound, I think it was around 25, 26, 30, something like that, dollars. And I got two pieces that I can use to make covers out of. This one I like more, but I'm using the other piece first just in case I mess up. So I have started, and what I did was I took my and made myself a pattern, which basically was just this, but a little longer, because these rings are very small, so it needs to extend more. So I made that pattern, and then I cut it out, and I punched the holes in it for this thing to fit. And then now I'm going to, to sew it up and uh, see how it turns out. I didn't have quite enough leather to have this meat all the way so I think I'm going to cut this down just a little bit too and hopefully this turns out okay so when I come back through the magic of uh, video it will be all sewn okay so here it is this is what it turned into um, I sewed it and I put a little snap on it and here's the inside now I did add I only had enough um, leather to put one pocket, I guess, here. I was thinking about making a slit in here and then I could probably put some journaling cards or stickers or something in there. But I put this in here just to make this a little more stable because <laughs> very flimsy. Real leather is very flimsy. And I added a little charm I have. I don't know if you can see that. C for Christine. I do want to get like paper clips and pretty dashboards and all that kind of stuff, but for now, this is what I have. And I added a pen loop. And then everything just turns real nice in here. I do have to get some dashboards to separate the, the daily planner from the, uh, where is it? Up here, somewhere. <laughs> I have the horizontal planner up here. And then. In between the two, where the note section is, I've added some the extra paper. I went through both planners and took out the extra sheets. And then I can also add more sheets if I want to. But I left the contacts and then I left the stickers and all the calendars in here. And then we just get to the back. And here I actually added two, <laughs> two of the plastics to try and make it even more sturdy. So I'm, it's still a work in progress, but I do like it a lot better than the um, agenda that these inserts come with. And I'm hoping that they do decide to sell these separately because then we can put these in any type of uh, cover we want to. And I have some other cover ideas too, but I just wanted to show you how this one turned out. And then I'm going to start using it in October and I'll let you know how it's working. This is one thing too, it sits like this and I've got to keep yanking it here. So I don't know. 
I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Not perfect by any means, but like I said, I do like it better than the agenda it comes with. So that's my little DIY for this week. Until next time, bye-bye.